2022 Greater Florida RV Super That's Show. I'm Mike Caudill, national transportation expert, brand ambassador for GoRVing.com, friend of Arcadia, and friend of this person right here, my sidekick here at the show. Sidekick, I'm Janine Pennant, founder of Girl Camper, editor-in-chief of Girl Camper Magazine, friend of Keystone, and Mike and I are out here, and we are talking about RVing. There is no wrong way to camp, right, Mike? No wrong way to camp. So many things to see over the course of a very short time, and we are here in the Keystone booth. I mean, they have just about everything under the sun. Oh, they got big. They got little. We're going to start off. We're going to look at those lightweight towables. We're going to look at those ultralights. We're going to look if you're going big and going home, if you're taking an extended road trip, or just weekending it. We kind of fell in love with this, this yeah, Ringdale 2010, right? Yeah, we did. And the beauty in it is that we both have different camping needs. Mm -hmm. And here in the Keystone booth, we're going to go through a variety of different uh, trailers that give us the options. So identifying ones that meet your needs and my needs is yeah. important. And you just said 2010 BH, which everyone knows that stands for bunkhouse. Bunkhouse. I need a bunkhouse because I got two kids and I need the space. So yeah. Show me what you like about this. Let me show you why I think this works for a solo woman traveler too, even though it has a bunkhouse. Come on in. Okay, Mike, I fell in love with this. I think this is so cool, because even me as a solo woman traveler, I got that full queen size bed up there. I got a table here. I can fold this down if I wanted to bring grandbabies or make it into a day bed. Like sometimes I fold my uh, table down and I just treat it as a day bed. But I also love the bunks because if I'm on a long road trip, I'm gone four or five weeks at a time, I tend to accumulate stuff. I could get a couple of laundry baskets, keep my jacket, stuff I'm bringing home as souvenirs. So this is added storage. If I visit a girlfriend along the way and I want to pick her up and take her camping with me for a few days, I've got space here. But it's small enough and lightweight enough that it's doable on the tow vehicle I already have. I think you can fit five to six people in here comfortably. And mm -hmm. me at six foot three, I always have to think about size. You got where's, room there. Where's my head going to fit? Do my legs fit under mm -hmm. here? The beauty is that this does double up as a bed and it serves as a table where we could feed our family of four, including my teenagers. Yeah. So do they fit on side to side? Right. They do. The bunkhouse is unique. Easy. So what's really unique about the bunkhouse is it's, it's almost a double. Like you're almost wide enough where you can sprawl out. So I love what you said about storage because there's plenty of room in there for you to just Still under put here. tubs, put tubs and all that kind of stuff back here. You know what really sticks out to me the most is that it's modern inside mm -hmm. of here. And I know for my wife, she wants things that feel new. Right, and this is pretty. And you see the influence of the RV industry now. This model right here is a Pinterest page. It is a Pinterest page. Over here is a full-size bed, so you got plenty enough space. You've got a stove top, you've got shelving, you've got a sink. And then for me, of course, bathroom, but outside is the most critical. Three-piece bathroom. Three-piece bathroom, Yes. full hookups outside. Full hookups. So this is a winner, winner, chicken winner, dinner. Winner, winner. All right, so Janine, let's talk a little bit about pricing because that's yeah. what everyone inevitably wants to know is how much does this cost? So this one right here is gonna start roughly in that $20,000 range, mm -hmm. but the beauty with Springdale is that you have multiple different options. I just want you to go with me on this and we're gonna walk <laughs> over to it. What if this is still too big? Is there something smaller? There sure is, and I know where it is. Let's go. 